Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down a massive pattern change that'll be coming to the United States this weekend and this is going to be a polar vortex situation where we're going to have an arctic blast unleashing a ton of cold air across much of the United States and wind chills will drop to as much as 70 degrees below zero in one part of the United States while the remainder of like the Midwest and the Central Plains you're going to be really dangerous dangerously cold this weekend. In addition to this, we'll be breaking down the winter storm that'll be impacting the Southern Plains, the Mississippi Valley, and back through the Ohio Valley, where there will be some snowfall in addition to ice. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast. And let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today. And we'll begin with the winter storm that is finally moving out of the United States. This storm has been unleashing tons of snow across the Midwest, areas like Wisconsin, Michigan, even Northern parts of Illinois, picked up as much as a foot to a foot and a half of snowfall and obviously all this activity is now moving out of the United States we do still have some lake effect snow to deal with though because this low pressure system it's actually going to be sitting back up in Canada as we go into the later half of this weekend and as we go into next week this low pressure system is actually going to circle entirely and that's going to actually lead to another Arctic blast situation for the Midwest and the East Coast as we go later into the week and we'll be discussing more details on that later in this forecast uh, but in addition to this we're going to be seeing northwesterly and westerly winds. This is going to bring the lake effect snow across parts of western Michigan today. In addition to this, we'll be seeing some of those impacts near Buffalo, New York and Watertown, New York, where those areas could pick up as much as two feet of snowfall. Back down in the southern plains and as well as the Mississippi Valley, it's very quiet right now, but that's not going to last long because we have that winter storm that'll be coming tomorrow night all the way through Monday and we're going to be seeing upwards of eight inches of snow in some areas down in Mississippi and Louisiana and as well as Arkansas. That's just uncalled for for this time of the year. We'll be breaking down that in here in just a few minutes. And then further up to the north, this is all the snow cover across the United States, all this green on the infrared imagery. That's actually all snow cover. So anywhere in the northern plains back through Canada, lots of snow on the ground right now. And then back over on the west coast of the United States, it's quite quiet for the time being. Now let's talk more about this massive pattern change that'll be coming to the United States this weekend. And some areas are already seeing this. Don't get me wrong. The Arctic blast has already gone through areas in Montana, Wyoming, and as well as the Dakotas and as well as Nebraska. But this thing is about to really unpack a lot of cold air across the Midwest and as well as the Southern Plains. And watch this very cold air mass as we go throughout the later half of Saturday. Because what's going to happen is that we're going to have all this cold air driving down to the south and around this low pressure system off to the east. It's basically all going to be wrapping around it. So we're going to have all that cold air coming out of Canada. And this is just going to unleash across the Southern Plains. So it's going to get downright frigid as we go into Sunday morning across those areas. The Midwest will get a little bit of this cold air. So the low pressure system will steer some of this arctic blast that way so it's going to kind of split off a little bit if you will and as we go into sunday morning you'll notice the main area of this cold air will be in the central and southern plains but again a little bit will leak into the ohio valley in the midwest and then once we go throughout the day monday that cold air will die further down to the south and then we'll be getting another shot of cold air as we go later into the week by thursday or friday we'll get another arctic blast or at least a, a mini version of an arctic blast it will not be nearly as intense as this first one but it will still be bringing similar impacts to much of the midwest and back through the southeast so this will be something to watch for the uncertainty that remains with this arctic blast though is exactly where will it be going because the european model initially showed that this would be impacting more of the midwest and the mid-atlantic region and now it's showing it's going to be diving to the southeast for areas like florida that would make a major change to the forecast if it went further down to the south so stay tuned make sure you're subscribed to the channel we'll be keeping you posted with the latest on this entire situation as it unravels and this is the temperature anomaly map and what we're looking at here is basically the temperatures from average in your specific location so notice areas in montana this morning they are as much as 50 to 60 degrees below average which again is just insane record breaking temperatures up that direction going into tomorrow morning that cold air will spread out and again this is what we're looking at at the surface so the coldest of the air in terms of being from average will be there in the central plains in the western midwest where areas will get as much as 40 degrees below average and then once we go into monday into tuesday that cold air will just sit there we'll have a little bit of relief most likely as we go into thursday and as well as maybe wednesday Wednesday, the late day Wednesday into Thursday, and then the shot for another Arctic blast will exist as we go closer to uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so keep that in mind. Here are the wind chills that we're looking at for today. Again, it's going to be very cold up to the north. Notice how that cold air will just leak into the Midwest. Sunday morning, we're going to have wind chills as low as 45 degrees below zero in Iowa. Dangerously cold. Do not go outside if you have, you know, bare skin. You're going to definitely want to make sure you are bundled in layers if you're going outside anywhere in the Midwest. Same thing with the Southern Plains, even 
and as we go into Monday into Tuesday, it's still going to be cold enough for hypnothermia, so you're definitely going to want to make sure you're taking the proper precautions. As we go to Tuesday morning, this will probably be the coldest morning of the entire week when it comes to the wind chills across the entire country, not just one particular area. So areas even down near the Gulf Coast will be feeling as little as, you know, 10 to 15 degrees for an actual wind chill. And then back in Florida... 73 in Miami for the wake up temperature in terms of wind chills, at least going into Tuesday morning. Again, just crazy stuff overall. If you want to have warm weather, just go to Florida. That's the place to be, it seems like this week, because this cold air, again, is not really going to be going anywhere anytime soon. Most of the United States are going to be below freezing for most of this week. This is what we're looking at in terms of actual temperatures. So, again, notice the freezing temperatures. They are going to be sitting down there for the most part. The one day where a lot of the country will at least get somewhat above freezing would be Wednesday, where the East Coast and as well as back through the Southern Plains will get a little hair above freezing but again it's not gonna be much thursday a little bit better of a chance across the southern plains mainly texas and then by friday and saturday that cold air might just come right back down into the southeast it's just, just gonna bring our temperatures right back down to basically what they are gonna be this weekend maybe a little bit warmer but again still pretty similar stuff all right here's what we're looking at in terms of the winter storm that is gonna be coming to the mississippi valley back into the southern plains these are the watches for right now we do have winter storm watches in eastern oklahoma back through almost the entire state of arkansas and as well as northeast Louisiana. And at the time I'm recording this forecast, there might be some winter weather advisories being in effect for parts of at least northeast Texas. Um, if not, we might even get a couple of winter storm watches for those areas. Mississippi also under the winter storm watch and back through western Tennessee. So looking at the future radar across the southern plains, this is what we're going to be looking at around lunchtime on Sunday. There might be a little bit of light snow beginning to develop across central and northern parts of Oklahoma, and then maybe a little bit of freezing drizzle over in east Texas. What's really more certain at this point is that we'll be looking at heavy snowfall as we go into Sunday evening across much of Arkansas back into western Tennessee and northwest Mississippi. In addition to this, there will be freezing rain stretching from around DFW back into northwest Louisiana. Now, what becomes a little bit more uncertain going into the overnight hours is exactly how far to the west this freezing rain area and as well as the snow will extend closer to Oklahoma and Texas. And that's why they're a bit more reluctant on those winter storm watches, at least at the time recording this forecast. So that is gonna be something to watch for across parts of the Southern Plains, including Texas and Oklahoma. And then once we go to Monday around nine in the morning, there will be a better chance of some light, moderate, and even a little bit more heavy snow in Southern Arkansas, back into Northern Mississippi, and as well as Tennessee. So those will be areas to watch for going down the road. Like over into the Southeast United States, where there will be some freezing rain again in Louisiana, potential for snow as far to the East and South as areas like northern Alabama and maybe even in northwest Georgia going into Monday evening. But this becomes a bit more uncertain. Once we get closer to Tuesday morning, we might actually have a little bit of freezing rain back down in southern Mississippi, maybe Louisiana, might even get close to southern Alabama. But again, those details a bit more uncertain at this time. Make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We'll be keeping you posted with the latest as this event continues to evolve. And in terms of snowfall accumulation in the southern plains, mainly for Oklahoma, Texas, as well as Arkansas, back into Louisiana, what we're going to be watching Watching for for the most snowfall accumulation will be in the winter storm watch from Arkansas back into parts of northern Mississippi. There is actually a chance, a legitimate chance, for four to eight inches of snow in this particular area from about southern and central Arkansas back into northern parts of Mississippi, maybe even into northern Alabama. There's at least going to be around an inch to three inches, most likely, from Little Rock back into parts of Memphis and even back closer to Nashville. One to three inches of snow is possible. In north Texas, it's probably going to be a coating to an inch for most areas if you're near Texarkana maybe a little bit more snowfall there and then in terms of ice accumulation this is going to be a bit more of a question mark on how much really freezing rain we see as we go into Sunday and Monday but right now the likelihood of us seeing at least a tenth of an inch of ice is at least somewhat likely in parts of southeast north Texas back into eastern north Texas I think half an inch of ice is just too much for this particular setup I think most areas will be between about one hundredth of an inch to one tenth of an inch with some isolated areas here in east Texas picking up possibly closer to a quarter of an inch of ice that's what I think right now in terms of the forecast. But make sure you stay tuned, subscribe to the channel. We'll have another forecast most likely later today. If not, we'll have one tomorrow morning. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already.